Hi there, welcome to Kali and the Gardener. I thought I'd give you just a quick update. Spring is moving along. We have cold mornings, but we're definitely warming up as the days go by. And we're making headway in this garden. We're going through each of the beds. We're getting the chicken coop ready for spring. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on everything going on in our garden right now and everything we plan on doing for the rest of the season. We really couldn't start anywhere else first, but then this amazing chicken coop. I already have posted a couple videos and I so appreciate all your comments and likes and views on this one. We have how to design an amazing chicken coop for yourself and all the features of this one. We go in great depth to my spring cleanup process because we use that deep litter method to keep these girls warm. We're not using electricity. And then my cleanup of the debris from last year. We'll be waking up these beds in future videos and growing things that these chickens can eat right around their coop and making it beautiful. I'll be sure to post a picture of what last year looked like. And then as we're moving along, I just want to bring into view my mini orchard of stone fruit. We have plum, nectarine, apricot and Daniel my first guest who has 30 years of amazing knowledge in orchard care and development has come by and shown us how to trim those trees I'll be getting those videos up so in case you're thinking about planting some fruit trees or you have some fruit trees and they look a little unruly these are looking great He came by, you can see, and we added graphs. So I'll be getting those videos up and that's gonna increase the fertility of these trees. We'll be following those as they develop and grow. This plum tree right here, we grafted two other plums onto. So it's a yellow tree and now it's gonna be growing purple and green plums. It's gonna make it a powerhouse for production because plums need another tree to fertilize with and now it has three mini trees growing in one so it's going to be amazing and then this nectarine tree right here we've added almond to it and peach and so keep watching I'll post that video because it was so interesting to tape it and see him do it live and I know it'll be amazing and then I called out in one of my chicken videos as I was doing that cleanup. I'll have the link below, but this is my husband's compost box. We've got it filled up right now with that deep bedding and it is going to break down and provide us each step of the way with amazing compost to use in the garden and my flower beds. And then as we're working our way around, you can see this is the total garden that I use to feed my family all season and our friends this area that looks kind of sad it's our giant leaf compost pile at the moment but it's going to be completely transformed in the next few weeks if not this weekend and it is going to be where I plant all of my pepper seeds and I have those starts going I'll post a picture real fast and we'll go through a tutorial of how to start your seeds indoor because I have a surefire method that's going to be amazing this area is going to be turned up. Those leaves are going to be worked into the ground, continue to compost. And we're going to be planting peppers, potatoes, beans, squash. This area is going to be filled with different things growing and coming into harvest at different times. It's going to be super productive. It was great last year. This year, I have this row of pots. Last year, I grew peppers in them and it wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be but in previous years I grew dahlias in this and it was a showstopper so that is what I'm going to do we're gonna we're gonna continue with what works we're gonna plant dahlias we'll have tutorials on that so last year I grew fennel there and I just reseeded it a few days ago added more volume of dirt and we're gonna see those babies come up in just a few days I'm sure this row here is my blueberry and onion and shallot row. Then over here is my garlic row. 
We've got that all ready. These are my thorny berries, my blackberry berries, Marion and boysenberry. These pots are over seven years old. And I have a video showing how the design is for trellising. And I basically just added some dirt to this to add volume and fertilizer. And that's how I keep them healthy year after year. This video I'll be posting real soon. We just cleaned out a carrot and tomatillo bed, so that's gonna be excellent. This is my green onion bed. You can see it's already springing up. We're gonna plant some eggplant in there. I've got those seed starts going as well. This over here is my greens bed. It's gonna be filled with kale, spinach, and arugula. So now we're getting to the part where I have to do some work this weekend. And I'm going to be cleaning up this bed right here. It has some onions in it from last year that have been dividing over the winter and we've got to break them up and get them into little tighter rows. And then I'm going to be planting beet seeds in there to increase the productivity of this area. And this bed here, we've tried different things before, growing potatoes in it and onions, and it wasn't as successful as I would like, but we fell in love with asparagus last year. And so I am gonna go through a tutorial of the cleanup of this bed, how we plant those asparagus crowns that I have ordered and waiting to get in the ground, and it'll be a great bed to watch over the next few years. I have some raspberries that I added some more dirt to. Those plants are about four years old in those whiskey barrels. They're amazing and continue to grow back nice and clean. They're not spreading anywhere. And as we work our way around, I have my asparagus, strawberry, and greens bed. Last year we had some tomatillos kind of pop up. And I have a video already posted, so make sure you watch how we keep that asparagus bed really healthy and continue to produce year after year. And I'm gonna have a video coming up of me mulching these garden beds just to show how it makes things beautiful, keeps them divided and weeds down low. Then this area here, I'm going to be planting some determinate tomatoes in, some broccoli and garbanzo beans. And then these structures you may have noticed in the background of other videos. I am going to be putting in my trellis system with stakes and string, and we are going to be growing our tomato starts and cucumbers vertically. So we can increase the size and number of plants that are growing in this little area here. It'll be amazing. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. I'll be getting the design of that video up real soon as I put those stakes in the ground. In between, because we're maximizing our space, I have more garlic and onion because they act as companion planting and they'll keep those tomatoes and cucumbers protected. But I also incorporated some cabbage into that area as well as some cilantro. And there's Roars checking out our garden, making sure everything looks good. And now we're getting again into our perennial section. I have blueberries here. And we're finishing up our trellis system here for our red thornless Joan Jay raspberries, our thornless blackberries, and our fall gold yellow raspberries. And by the time they're done, I'm gonna have these beautiful arches that I'm gonna be able to walk through and pick berries later on in the season. It's gonna be beautiful. And then we're moving through. We've got blueberries and some garlic starts here. I'm gonna be adding compost and some acidic fertilizer to get those growing and going. And then this is my row of herbs. They're amazing. That's where I started. So some of these pots that you see here are 10 years old. I had them at my old house outside my kitchen and move them with me. So every year I just add back to the volume of the dirt, fertilize them. I might add some seed if they are not perennial herbs and we just keep going through. So I'll definitely post videos on those. 
And then I have fallen in love with figs. And in the Pacific Northwest, not all of them do very well. So we keep some in pots that I will then move into my barn space and store over winter. But those hardy ones, like Chicago hardy figs, I bury in the ground. And they're coming back to life. And then finally, I'll post a picture. We've got our mushroom beds that I started last year. And I'm going to be starting some new ones because we've had great success with them. They've been delicious, the culinary mushrooms. So we have a lot going on in our garden. Well, that's all for now from Kali and the Gardener. Right, Roar? we got to put our camera down, get our garden tools out and set up. And we've got a lot of work to do. So keep watching. If you have any questions, comments, definitely keep in contact with us. Otherwise, hit subscribe and keep watching those videos.